guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Harry Potter, back at it again with another video. I am sorry if the glare from my glasses, yes, glare, haha, ha, um, bothers you, but I went to do my taxes today and I felt like wearing glasses would make them feel like I knew what I was doing when I went to talk to them anyway. So today we're gonna talk about stupid fashion trends. I think I've made two videos on this. Now, the usual disclaimer, if you like the things, I don't like, it's fine, it's no big deal, it's not that deep, let's just have a laugh and if you want to roast me we can both have a laugh at that too and also I want to say for each of these things I can low-key think of someone who I know who could pull them off so even if I don't like these things there are plenty of people who prove me wrong daily but I still don't like the thing even if I see people pulling it off before we get into this video as you know content like this is often demonetized so I'd like to thank today's sponsor Adam and Eve Adam and Eve is America's favorite adult store not only does it come with discreet packaging but they also donate 20% of their profit to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. They also have a 24-7 customer service and have 90-day no-hassle returns. If you go to adamandeve.com and use code GLARE, you'll get 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Thank you, Adam and Eve, for sponsoring this video. Let us start with the classic Forever 21 t-shirt. Now, if you go in the Forever 21 graphic tee area, and mind you, I love graphic tees, duh. That's pretty much all you see me wear on this channel. Channel. And I like slogan tees as well. If I never see a tee that has French on it, like saying, c'est la vie, or mon chéri, or just Paris. If I never saw a shirt like that, again, it would be too soon. 2012 Tumblr loved that. Right now, do we still need that? Mm, no. And the other Forever 21 thing is shirts that either have emojis or a design that looks like emojis, like this one that has sombreros, cacti, maracas, limes. It just feels like a MySpace background, an insultingly bad MySpace background, but they're just the typical tees that you don't even have to go in to Forever 21 to know that they're there. Like you already know that this will be there. This or a variation of this that is equally terrible. Next up, I'm going to have to drag some high-end brands. Now, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this actually, so my family and I have all an unspoken oath that we will never buy from Gucci because we do not support the loudness of Gucci. We all collectively mostly dislike everything they've ever put out. So I'm biased in this one. Gucci tracksuits. I cannot stand tracksuits like this one that are just so loud and over the top and they look more like a uniform. If there were a high-end prison, this would be the jumpsuit. I definitely believe that. I don't like when brands just rely on slamming their logo on something and calling it a day. It's just not very creative and there are other ways to put your logo in without it being like, hey, in case you forgot, what brand is this? Hmm? Hmm? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Yes, everybody knows and that's not necessarily a good thing. Then we have Gucci again, <laughs> of course. These shoes, I cannot, you know when you feel almost like a visceral reaction to something? I feel like I'm that TikTok of the guy making fun of people in liberal arts schools, this one. I think that with within the, the confines of literature, literature for those of us who uh, identify as American, uh, uh, which I find offensive. Um, there is an interesting duality uh, there to be found within the evidence and the analytical thinking where we think about but you know when you feel like you just look at something and you want to throw it? That's how I feel about this shoe. I don't know, first of all, why anyone would pay over a grand and a half for it. And I don't have a problem with chunky sneakers inherently. Some of them I find uglier than others. But this one, I think if it didn't have these strands of like chunky ass jewels, I think maybe it wouldn't be as bad. But put like this, it genuinely looks like there's a shoe and a three-year-old just like put tape around it, but instead of tape, it's these weird strands going in weird directions. That also, like I don't like the gold with the gems or jewels in contrast with the white and off-white. It's all too much. I hate these. I really fucking hate these. The thing is, I've seen people style them with all these different outfits and I can't like them. Whereas a lot of other chunky shoes with the right outfit, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I can see it. But here, no, that's canceled. I'm sorry. This is why I don't like Gucci. <laughs> here we go. Another high-end one. Again, over a grand and a half. Now, I'm just gonna put this shoe on screen for a second without commentary and you can let me know what you think that looks like. Disgusting. I don't think 
I need to say what I think it looks like. Gross. Like this hits me as gross. Like when I look at it, I feel slightly nauseated. Even if we wipe off all the fluids from this shoe, it's still ugly as shit, you know? Like it's not redeemed just because it's suddenly clean. But the sole fact that this was a thing, this makes me think that they're taking a piss or well, not literally, but they're doing something else literally on the shoe. And they're just seeing who the fuck would pay for this. Because I genuinely don't know who would pay for this. Unless you're like a hype beast and you're buying shit just to be able to brag that you bought it. So next up, Prada. I generally like what they do. But this... This top is kind of an abomination. First of all, when I first looked at it for some reason, it reminded me of like clothing for dolls or something miniature. I don't know if maybe it's just the picture in contrast with the text that makes the top look small and weird. But aside from that, I don't understand this red string. Like it seems so random. It's like where it starts on the side and then it goes to the middle and then it stops. It goes up one of the bra straps, but then not the other. I don't understand what was what the goal was here and whatever it was I hope they accomplished it because it's ugly as shit and I suppose you need a win after making something this ugly. This is such little fabric and it's almost $800. For what? I was sent this one which is from Fashion Nova and I feel like no matter the evolution of trends this one stays so it's transparent like PVC like material and this one is just a colored version of it. To be devil's advocate for a second I wouldn't wear the pants. I would maybe you wear the top but I feel like the top is the type of top you wear to take a picture or you wear to an event and that's it it's the kind of thing you get for like a very specific purpose and that's it very uncomfortable sweaty not flattering overall just not great but I can see why someone would gravitate towards the top the bottoms no, absolutely not. Then another fashion Noah trend, and this one is kind of similar to one that I had mentioned in my other video, this outfit. Now, I don't like busy outfits. This has been established. In this particular one, I think the knee and under are what really just have me fucked up. Because if you look at the bottom, her feet almost look like claws or like a chicken, like a chicken leg or something. The way this ends on her feet made me laugh. This looks so weird and I know it's a very particular style and it's very retro. I feel like even if you wore these bottoms with like a black top or with like a nude top or whatever, like a very plain one, it still wouldn't look good. Whereas if you just wore the top with like black jeans or something, I think that'd be a different story. But these bottoms, no. Also, these look like they'd give you a camel toe. The fabric looks very thin, so I received this picture and it was kind of funny because it was one of those things where I don't know if someone's pointing out one thing or both things. So these jeans or non-jeans are obviously ridiculous. There's literally no point to having them. And even if you do a conceptual shoot, because anytime I look at weird clothing, I think, okay, is there a conceptual, like, artistic type of shoot that this might make sense in? But these, it looks like someone cut out the main part of the jeans. And then the bodysuit as well. I feel like bodysuits in this shape flatter no one. Cut out is just in a weird position because I feel like if it were above the belly button and right under the boob area that could be something but this is too much so it just seems awkward. And then I find it unflattering on the chest too. So all together this outfit like the only thing that saves itself are the shoes. So then we have this shoe. Now this shoe gives me flashbacks of the early 2000s and the early 2000s has some iconic fashion moments. This is not one of them. First of all having fringes continuously hitting my feet while I'm walking would bother the shit out me, especially because it might get stuck under your foot, which would actually hurt. And aside from that, I feel like some of them look like they're long enough to get stuck under the heel. But then, but then, I zoomed into the toes on this picture. Just... It's time to move on. Last of all, we're dragging one other high-end brand, Burberry. It's been a long time since I've heard anyone utter the name Burberry, so I mean, maybe they want to be noticed by doing this, maybe this is a desperate call for action, maybe they're being held hostage, who knows. But they made this like, little chest bag. I saw it being used as a backpack as well, and as a backpack on a man it seems ridiculous because it's so small compared to this guy's frame that it almost seems like a mini backpack but a joke because it's not proportional. Here 
it just looks awkward. The thing is, I don't hate the design. I just think it looks very awkward in this particular picture. I can't think of many contexts where you'd wear this. I can imagine someone wearing this at like a rave to have like all your stuff here so you can see it. That's pretty much it. Kind of like fanny packs. The only time I've ever used fanny packs is when I go running outdoors and I need to put my keys, my phone, and all this shit in a same area. And even then, that's really pushing me to the to the limit with fanny packs. But this is like an, a worse version. And it doesn't even look like Burberry because I hope I don't offend anyone, but Burberry is known to be very tame, very vanilla, very covered up. Like it's not Dolce Gabbana, it's not cheetah print, it's not lace, it's not super revealing. It's known to be tame. Like the few things I've ever had of Burberry are scarves and raincoats. So that should give an idea of like their brand. So this doesn't even look like something they'd make. So maybe they're trying to branch out, uh, have people remember they exist. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. <laughs> let me know which one you hated, which one you didn't hate. I'm always interested to know. I hope that this was a bit of a lighthearted moment for the week. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.